I bought a Bogner. Well, I don't need necessarily any more amps. I need amps like I need a hole in my head. The one brand of amplifier that I've always wanted but never owned a single one of is a Bogner, either a Shiva 20th anniversary amplifier or an Ubershaw. And I have spent time with the XC as well, but those are generally in the environments of things like, you know, NAM trade shows and music stores and not playing on my own stuff. And yeah, I, I found a good deal on the 20th anniversary Bogner Shiva, which is right behind me, and I bought it. Now the 20th anniversary Bogner Shiva is a little different than its original form factor, namely physically, um, the inverted chassis of the original Shiva. The 20th anniversary also has KT88 tubes or EO34, as well as a reverb option or no reverb option. Now the amplifier that I purchased is a KT88 model with no reverb and it, uh, it does the thing. <laughs> Now I've been reamping and doing a lot of mixing for various bands lately, and I wanted an amp that was not necessarily for, for metal. I, I have that covered in spades. I wanted big rock tones, but I also was having a need and running into a need for getting pretty specific clean tones, namely kind of Fendery Marshall clean tones. You know, big, clean, really clean, guitar tones, and the only amplifier I have that currently will really, really do that is some of the Mark series stuff, and I think that's a unique tone in and of itself, and I really wanted something that had a really great clean tone and that could also do a big rock tone that was something not necessarily, you know, an EL34 powered standard, you know, Marshall-y thing, and I think the Shiva 20th anniversary had kind of fills that gap for me personally. Now I know what you're thinking, yes, the Bogner is kind of a modded Marshall flavor, as is the Friedman JJ100 amp right below it on my uh, on my stack here. However, the Shiva is, you know, due to the KT88s, there's a lot of low mids. It can be kind of quonky, but in a really nice way. And it's very harmonically rich. And just, I love the compression that it has on the dirty channels. Now this is a two channel amplifier. There is basically a built in boost that can be engaged either in the clean or the dirty channel. So you have a clean, dirt, clean boosted and dirt boosted. And you have a couple of different uh, push pull pots or push pull buttons rather to kind of engage a scoop or not. I hate the scoop, but it has just a kind of I don't know, uh, low mid quonkiness that I find really nice. Now, some people really, really do not like the voicing of this amplifier. I like it because it is different from what I already have. It is different than the Freeman. It is different from a, a Boogie Mark series, for example, and it's different from the EVH. And so to that end, it adds a lot of versatility for me as a guy who's mixing records and reamping and needing to get various kinds of guitar tones.
Now the Bogner 20th anniversary Shiva retails for 2,900 bucks. Um, I was able to buy the open box version of this amplifier is basically returned for $400 off of that. I think I got a good deal. I am very happy with my purchase. Um, I wish it had reverb though. I do wish it had reverb. However, it's fine. I mean, when I think about it, I don't really use reverb on the amplifier. If I want reverb on something, I will typically do that in post while I have control over how it sounds within the context of a mix. However, the Bogner thing is a very unique thing. It's very harmonically rich. I mean, I know I keep using that terminology. However, it's just, it's just a lot of sauce on the notes. And with the KT88s, it's just this big fat bottom end that you can dial in or you can dial out. It's not always present. I just like the versatility of the Shiva specifically. And for me, if I add a boost in front of it, an actual overdrive and not use the uh, built-in boost, you can absolutely get really heavy metal tones with it. And not that I would necessarily go to that first. However, it's just a really, really cool amp that's just a little different than my Friedman EVH or Boogie stuff. That's really all I had to say. Simple video. I just wanted to talk about my new amp and I'm really stoked on it. I got it. I immediately plugged it in and used it on a session and was very, very happy with the tones that I got. It really did the thing that I was hoping it would do within the context of my setup. I got to borrow one once from my good friend, John from the home team. I didn't have time to make a video for it, but I did get to spend a couple of days with it and I really, really liked it. And it left a a serious impression on me and that was several years ago and I've always kept my eye out for one of these and I finally got to snag one and I'm really happy that I did. Pretty cool. I will link down below in the description if you'd like to more information on the Shiva stuff or anything Bogner. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.